So Gary, um, what advice do you have for other school districts? I'd say, where would you say we are along on the continuum? Pretty, we're, we're like kind of, we're, we're making our, our steps. We're, we're making yeah. progress. But what, would, what advice would you give for school districts who are wanting to do something similar or sort of just starting out? I would say, number one, start, where, start with where you are. Um, right. You know, there is no perfect time uh, yeah. to get in the water. Um, if you see things that we can make, that you can make better or we can mm-hmm. make better, um, go for it. Uh, so you have to start with where you are. Second is this, is to make sure that you're maximizing your human capital, your social capital. Right. Um, find that team, uh, that team that's going to be courageous and take those steps with you and know that things aren't going to be perfect, mm-hmm. but they have the vision and the will um, to, in order to figure out a way to get things done. So I, w- I would say that... Um, with that group, make sure you include student voice. Um, we've got some amazing student leaders um, in our district that have contributed greatly uh, to changing some policy, um, to uh, standing up and leading for their, their fellow classmates uh, in the school, whether it be working with students or adults. Include youth in this. You have to include them. Um, that's what this is all about. Um, but more importantly, just um, you know, stick to the mission. Uh, it's going to be tough. As I said, it's not restorative perfection. It's restorative practices. It's going to be icky at times. Sometimes it's going to require a lot of time, work, effort, and energy, and things will turn out great, and sometimes it's not going to turn out great. Right. Um, sometimes things are just tough, and we can't automatically restore everything all the time, but um, just stay, stick to the mission. Um, remember, remember your why and your purpose, um, and just continue to, to fight for our kids.